But first of all, I would like to create a new report so that you can see how it looks like. So if you click on new, uh, you can specify uh, for which entity you want the report to be created. Uh, once you specify an entity and create a report, you can't change it because uh, the base source will be created for that specific uh, entity record, uh, for the specific entity. Uh, so there is no possibility to change it afterwards. Then, as I said before, you have the option to choose for which language mutation you want that uh, report to be created. Uh, in my case, I will stick to language neutral, so uh, my reports will be available for all languages. And uh, last option is source. So this is where you define whether uh, that report will be available only for a single record or for a, for a list of records, so more than one, or for both, so that you can uh, so that you will define one report for single or a list of records at the same time. So I will start with a single record. And I will do that for my incidents. Here we are. So. And of course, define a name. So uh, my new incident report is created. Uh, as you can see, there is directly one uh, field added to the grid. Uh, but what I want to do is to add more columns, more rows. You can do it from the toolbar or you can do it directly from the line. So adding a new uh, row or new column here directly. And you can also uh, delete a column or delete a row from here as well. Uh, so first of all, I just want to show you how you can add specific items or uh, fields. So you have on the left side, you have all the fields from that, uh, from that entity that is added as a source, in my case, the incident. So I can simply add a city or address. And you can also select and oh, drag and drop. Uh, you can also add text. So uh, you have a binding for static, so just like this. So you have binding type as a constant, and binding is the actual string that will be shown to a user. And really quickly, we can add a parent grid where you can define, uh, for example, uh, my using the incidents customer ID, uh, target account. I could add, I can add information from my uh, incidents parent account. So I can, add, you can see there is a name already. And as I was saying before, you don't need to use a specific grid. Uh, the, the parent grid is useful mainly to define the source uh, so that you don't have to create a sort manually and specify uh, the filter. But you can, of course, uh, remove this grid afterwards. Uh, the source is there. So we can have, we have the account here. You can see that it's using uh, the, the filter that will make sure that only the associated record, uh, the, the associated record, parent record is used. And we can add the parent field directly to any, any grid on our uh, report. So just basic uh, orientation on the report designer. And I was also talking about the child repeater. Uh, so in this case, this is the opposite relation. So I'm now adding uh, a lookup from my, my child entity. So I would like to add uh, appointment. And you can see here that uh, I can choose whether I want appointments associated, associated using the regarding object ID for my incident. 
or my account because this is also uh, my source on this report now when I edit the parent record. But I want the appointments from my incident, so I click here. And now you can see that there is a repeater created. And again, appointment name is added as a primary field. And now I can add more of my appointment uh, information here. So, like this. Uh, you can, of course, add some text to the header. So it's my incident appointment. So I believe that this is pretty straightforward. I really don't want to save this report because it will look really, really horrible. So I'll just discard it and we will later see some, some more fancy ones. <laughs> 